fans are expected, right, given the curiosity of human nature. Area 51 expert Jordan Segundo is taking a deeper look at the sky and the secrets it holds. Oh, it's an interesting thing going on this weekend. Oh, so interesting, but hey guys, I spot something that's brown. Uh -oh. It looks kind of like a little sphere, like a triangle. Huh. Hmm. A sphere oh. and a triangle? That's just the top oh. of the paper <laughs> right there. That's not oh boy, not quite what have we been looking for. The real business will actually happen tomorrow night in Placerville for their big annual UFO hunt. That is right. I said UFO hunt. They're going to have a good time tomorrow night in Glasgow starting at 6 o'clock. And to tell us more about tomorrow's event, we've got Paul here. He is a, he is a paranormal investigator and UFO, a ufologist. Thanks so much for joining us, Paul. I know you brought some of your telescopes and your equipment here. First off, tell everybody what's happening tomorrow night in Placerville because this is your big annual UFO hunt. That there's actually a UFO hunt in our area. Placerville is a hotbed of UFO activity. You have gold out there, and it seems like aliens are attracted to gold. If you look at the Sumerian clay tablets, the Sumerian clay tablets tell you that the Anunnaki extraterrestrials came down to harvest gold. So we do this every year. We've been to Area 51. We've been to Monterey Bay. Supposedly in Monterey Bay, there's a UFO base in the ocean, and we have unidentified submerged objects that come out of the ocean and go back into the ocean. So we did Mount Shasta, and we're doing Placerville, and here we are. I'm inviting everyone. And you have a pretty interesting background, and, uh, you know, some people might be listening, like, whoa, really? what's going on? So tell us quickly about your background, because you work for the military, right? Right. I worked with uh, military intelligence. I was a 97 Bravo, which was an intelligence analyst. And I was with the Photo Interpretation Center in Korea. And on one particular day, six photographs came in, and they were all of UFOs taken by our reconnaissance satellites. So the military was still investigating UFOs. That was in 1981. And in the back of those photographs, it said intelligent and you know these days a lot has been shared, a lot of uh, classified uh, files have been opened up. Tomorrow though, you're inviting everybody to come out to Placerville. We'll have the information up on your screen because whether you believe or not, this is going to be a fun evening. It starts at 6 o'clock. You guys will go all the way through sunrise. What are you guys expecting to see tomorrow? We're expecting to see something. Oh. And, and, and it seems like we never fail. We do find something. We look for a erratic behavior of some kind of moving object, right. something that's right. not a conventional oh. aircraft. So, and Placerville gets a lot of sightings. Got it. Well, I know we showed you some video out there. Again, we're going to do a follow-up on Sunday, but I was praying really hard to the UFO or or gods from up above. I'm like, if you're going to show yourself, here's your chance. So far, nothing yet. Nothing. Okay. But again, the big alien uh, UFO hunt is happening tomorrow night out in Placerville. So I'll be working, but I'll be checking back with them on Sunday or Big Owl to see uh, what they find because I'm a believer. There's more out there. I mean, right? There's more. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to have a psychic medium over there named Deanna Stinson. She's really good. She can feel these UFOs uh, and she'll point it out. And so, boom, with her there, I think we're going to find something. Okay, there you have it. If you love this stuff or you're interested, Go check them out. Big All UFO right. hunt happening tomorrow out of Placerville. I mean, there's more out there. Sure what? The big old... I mean, big old waste...